Disappointed a bit? Yeah. 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 What what do you think contributed to the struggles tonight? Basically my nerves and I've never competed in a competition at this high level. Also, it was just my nerves got the best of me. I was actually proud of myself that I was able to control my nerves and was able to get a third in, but I just missed eighth place by like a couple of centimeters. Now, as you say your first meet of this nature, what did you think going in? I thought that, you know what, I'm just going to do the best that I can and let the rest follow through. Yeah, so overall, pleased that you got over this one. Yeah. Looking forward to the next? Yes. Yeah. Very what, are, what are some of the mechanical things you need to fix? Basically, pushing off my left, working on my drive, and keeping my left thumb down. It's like, stop throwing up into the sky. <laughs> so do you leave her happy? Yeah, I leave her happy, learn some new experience, got to compete against some Olympians. You know, I just got told myself, you know, can't go out like that. Uh, I definitely came here to jump a lot further today. So uh, I wanted to at least leave a mark, you know, getting the medals. Um, so I just had to pull it out. You know, I had to find a way to get a big jump in and just don't overthink it and just go. <laughs> 
well, some years ago you won this event. Mm -hmm. uh, come back in Veracruz, didn't do so well. Yeah. But to come back here and get a medal, does that show the growth of you as a person? I think so. I think it shows that, uh, you know, I'm able to find a jump when I need it, whereas before it was kind of, I hope I jump far. Now it's like, okay, I need, I know what I need to do to get a big jump. I was fully expecting to get a 820 or something like that in that last round. So that's why even as I landed and it went up as 803 on the scoreboard, uh, you notice I wasn't very excited about it because I kind of had a feeling it wasn't going to be enough. I knew I needed to put it away out of that guy's ability uh, and then he would, you know, get a little tight. But if I put it close enough to his ability, he was going to get amped and go. So I knew that's what was going to happen. So, yeah. Now, throughout the event, you got a couple of fouls. Was that you trying to just do a little bit too much at times? Um, I was actually trying to find my, my mark. Um, the, uh, the markers that they gave us weren't very big, so I couldn't see on film where I was at. So I couldn't tell if I was over or if I was behind the board uh, because I had a jump. That first round, I didn't even touch the board. It was 775 and I didn't touch the board at all. So I was just trying to figure out where to start my run up from. When I finally got that going, was in the finals. Uh, I had the fouls and then I you know, just found the perfect spot on that last round and that's just experience right there. So what's next for Tyler? Uh, we got the NACAC championships in a week and a half, and then I go over to Birmingham for the Diamond League and uh, meet in Italy. And if I can pull out a nice jump in NACAC, I think I will be at the uh, Diamond League final. So, yeah. All right. Well, well done. All right. Thank you.